Welcome everybody back to Metis. Everybody who joined me last time, I'm so glad to have you back. Everybody who's new, this is the channel where we talk about Munich student and entrepreneurial ecosystem. So you can expect content on student initiatives, scholarships, financing, how to go abroad, who the people behind these initiatives actually are, alumni, inspiring stories from students and entrepreneurs, and much, much more. All right, so you ask yourself, okay, Mariana, this sounds really interesting, but like, what are you talking about, right? So as I said last time, I will guide you to today's video through the different initiatives, the biggest ones, which are in Munich. So you can really find out at the end of this, what might be the perfect association for you. So you can look at the entire video for that. If you have a specific one in mind, you can obviously jump to that one straight away, but I will really guide you step by step um, through all of these and at the end provide you with the framework so you can kind of categorize them. So stay tuned for that at the end. All right, so why is Munich so relevant at the moment? So we have two of the biggest universities in Germany, which is the Technical University of Munich and the Ludwigs Maximilian University of Munich. So they're respectively known as TUM and LMU. However, they are not the only universities or higher educations which are actually there. We have also the Hochschule München, the Munich Business Schools or Hochschule Macromedia, for example, just to name some of them. Um, I'm sure the people from Macromedia will do a better job <laughs> at editing than me. Um, so if you would like me to provide an overview on all these different um, higher education institutions, then let me know and I will try to do my best to do that as well. All right, so let's kick things off with Entrepreneur. Now, Entrepreneur is actually, uh, they are here committed to bundling many initiatives. So they actually have different initiatives kind of under their umbrella who are all relating to entrepreneurship. Now, if you are part of one of these associations, which I will talk about in this video, you are automatically part of Entrepreneur who also, as I said, then provide you with events or kind of exchange opportunities between these initiatives. So that's really cool. Now, the first one I want to talk about here is Manage and More. So if I were to describe Manage and More in three words, it would be entrepreneurship, scholarship, network and Unternehmertum. Now, why did I choose exactly these three words? Basically, the first one, because it's an ideational scholarship, which means that it's not primarily financial, but it's more about what you learn. And the focus here is on entrepreneurship, as the name may suggest. Now, the second one, network, I chose because they really pride themselves in having a very wide alumni network and some very successful startup founders, but also entrepreneurs, which means that you bring innovation to established companies as well. Now, for everyone who does not know Unternehmertum or UTUM for short, they are actually the Innovation and Founding Center from the Technical University of Munich, and they offer various different programs to both students and professionals, which I will look into in subsequent videos more detailed. In their own words, they are committed to students with extraordinary commitment to become intra and entrepreneurs in an interdisciplinary community. They learn to develop business ideas, develop innovation and train their own leadership style. Now, second, we have CDTM. So this is an abbreviation for Center for Digital Technology and Management. And my three words for them would be honorary degree, network and going abroad. Now, it is actually an add on program to your studies, jointly um, organized by the TUM and the LMU and forms part of the elite network of Bavaria or in German Elite Netzwerk Bayern, which will be a topic for another video. So after the completion of your master's degree, you will therefore have the distinction of with honors. Um, so let's say you acquire a master of science, um, biology, let's say you have a master of science with honors. So that sounds pretty good. <coughs> and that is because you acquire ECTS actually during your time at CDTM. In their own words, they enable students from various backgrounds with creative ideas, motivation and entrepreneurial mindset and are offered tools to put their ideas into practice. Now, my second word was network because CDTM has arguably one of the most powerful networks there is. They have a lot of unicorn founders and just um, people in VCs and in a lot of other high power positions. So they really have a very, very important network here. Now, my third word was going abroad because they are really renowned for having incredibly interesting corporations with one of some of the best universities in the world, really. 
All right, my third one is Start in Munich, which can be described as self-organized community, founders and international. So different to manage more or CDTM, which are actually part of another bigger scheme, let's say, um, they are actually self-organized community for founders, which offer access to the startup ecosystem. So they are offering this community and are not affiliated therefore to any specific university program. Second, founders, because at start, they are all about empowering you really to find possibly your co-founder and really go with you through the lows and the highs of your entrepreneurial journey. And international, because they were actually not founded in Munich, but they were founded in St. Gallen, which means that, as you may guess, Munich is not the only location. They have several locations all over Europe, including Helsinki and Berlin, for example. Fourth, we are moving on to Academy Consult, and my three words for them would be student organized consultancy, driven and hands on experience. Now, they are Munich based student consultancy, which is completely organized, as you might guess, my students. So this always really blows my mind because they are so well organized and have really incredibly renowned clients and very big corporations um, driven because they have always expanded their portfolio. So they have moved, for example, towards innovation and towards the startup ecosystem as well. And they're really kind of always bettering and then kind of, you know, improving on their own things. Now, hands on, because in their own words, students apply their theoretical knowledge and practice and give companies new impetus in external consulting projects. Fifth, we are staying with student consultancies, but we are moving towards the direction of sustainability. I'm talking about 180 degrees consulting in Munich. Hence, I chose international, non-profit and impact driven. International because they are actually the world's largest student consultancy spanning over various cities. Non-profit and impact driven because they focus on social entrepreneurs and non-profit organizations. In their own words, we develop tailor-made conceptual and innovative solutions together Thus, we create a decisive social impact on business and society. Sixth, we have Enactus, who can be described as international impact projects and student network. So like 180 degrees, they're also part of a broader international student initiative network. However, different to them, they actually do not act as consultants, but rather they pursue their own projects, which are then impact driven projects. Student network, because they are also completely self organized. And in their own words, it is a network of leaders committed to using business as a catalyst for positive social and environmental impact. We educate, inspire and support young people to use innovation and entrepreneurship to solve the world's biggest problems. Seventh, we have the Social Entrepreneurship Academy. I chose to describe them with point of contact, support and social entrepreneurship. So their vision is a society that faces social, ecological and economic challenges actively with critical thinking. We see education as the key to social change. So I guess we have that already in common. So they mainly act, as I said, as a point of contact. So if you're interested in social entrepreneurship, you might be reaching out to them because they can you know, support you along your journey and kind of help you implement your ideas. So it's a very different concept, let's say, to the ones we have talked about in the previous ones. Eighth, we have TUM AI, which can be described as interdisciplinary AI student initiative and impact driven. Interdisciplinary because they really offered various formats, including makeathons and industry projects where they do strive for interdisciplinarity in their projects. As the name suggests, they are linked to the Technical University of Munich and they pride themselves in being Germany's leading AI student initiative and impact driven because in their own words, the vision is to connect students and all relevant stakeholders to facilitate the application of AI across domains and drive positive social impact. Ninth follows another TUM affiliated initiative named TUM Hyperloop. My three words for them would be limitless, SpaceX and mixed. Limitless because they strive to enable a world with the limits of distance and time do not longer exist. We deliver the technology to make convenient and sustainable ultra high speed transportation a reality. Now SpaceX, because they developed the winning pods for all SpaceX Hyperloop pod competitions and hold the world record with an impressive top speed of 482 kilometers per hour. Mixed 
because they are actually a team consisting of professional, academics and students. So that is also a major difference, let's say, to the other initiatives I talked about, because these were really mainly student led. And this one is more of an, let's say, on different hierarchical levels as well and kind of p people from different backgrounds, not only students. Tenth, we have Horizon, who I chose to describe with TUM, student led and airspace. So it is actually an initiative also stemming out of the Technical University of Munich and it's completely student led. In their own words, we come up with innovative solutions for real world problems. So airspace, because they focus on developing electrical takeoff and landing or short FTOL, unmanned aerial vehicles, UAV for short. So unmanned vehicles, um, as the name suggests, could be something like drones, for example, which they then work on in projects. Eleventh, we have Push Quantum. They could be described as student club, education and quantum tech. So they are a Munich based student club and in their own words, from slight interest to becoming a world class expert and everything in between, we provide you with educational resources and assessment opportunities to take your skills to the next level with a heavy focus on real world scenarios in a vibrant community. The moment in quantum, they specialize on quantum technologies, as you might guess it. Twelfth, we have Innovis VC. My words for them are venture capital, international and student driven. They are very passionate and their main focus really is on early stage startup financing, referred to as venture capital or VC for short. They are also part of the broader network across Europe from various academic backgrounds and student driven because they are, as I said, also a student initiative and they unite students to empower ambitious students across Europe to live their passion for VC. 13th, we have Q Summit, which could be described as Conference, Mannheim and Entrepreneurship. So their work actually culminates in Germany's most important conference for entrepreneurship and innovation organized by students in Mannheim. So it's not really Munich based, but you can still obviously participate. And those were all the initiatives from Entrepreneur. Now, another interesting format, which I want to mention in this one, which has become gaining a lot of traction is Entrepreneurial Masterclass at TUM. So the words I would choose for them would be master thesis, entrepreneurship and Unternehmertum. So they offer you the possibility to write your master thesis while finding your own startup. Or you could also be at a, let's say, leading position in a startup. So, for example, if you are a fund associate or you are like one of the first team members, then you can also apply there. However, this will be a topic for a separate video, obviously, as well. And a last initiative for today I would like to introduce you to is the Two Investment Club. So they could be described with finance, student organization and educational. So they are also s affiliated to the Technical University of Munich. And in their own words, the TU Investment Club is a non-profit student organization dedicated to the education of students with a distinct interest in financial markets. So if you would compare, for example, that one to Innovis VC, those are different parts of finance. So they're both into finance, but one of them is into early stage. So for example, Innovis VC is really into startups, for example, you would invest here. And let's say TU Investment Club is more into the traditional financial markets. This is by no means an exhaustive list. So there are so many other great initiatives like Women in Computer Science at TUM, which I will tackle in another video. So I will subsequently um, do more videos on the initiatives which I am also learning about because there are so many. If you want one of your initiatives to be covered, please let me know in the comments. And um, one last point before I end. So I made this overview here where I classify the different initiatives according to buckets. So including, for example, if they're university led, if they have a social focus, if they have a study program or more community focus, this can be kind of your cheat sheet. Um, and I will go through each and one of these episodes um, through the initiatives. And I will talk to you in greater detail about what they are actually about. And then we will also have some very interesting interviews with people coming up who can really tell you how it is like to be at these. All right, I think I've talked enough for today regarding the broader ecosystem in Munich. So including corporates, startups, financial institutions, investments. Stay tuned if you're interested in a video like that and we will work chronologically. So next time we will actually dive very deep into manage and more and the whole manage and more ecosystem. So stay tuned for that. Until then, all the best.